Okay, it's Robbie Regain. Well, we're going to have another crack at running a steam engine off of the steam cleaner. I've got it plumbed into this little unit here. This has got a small little micro cosm V twin on it. And the boiler will act as a water trap. And so this will just be a matter of, uh, yeah, see if it runs. All right, I've got a bit of uh, high temperature fuel line here. Uh, Silicon based stuff. We'll give her a go. Now the boiler will act as a water trap. Hey, she's away. I'll turn it down. I've got it turned back. Now I've got it on the low setting. Turn it up a bit. Got plenty of pressure, plenty of steam. This is brilliant. The pump is barely pumping. I've only got it back on. Bring it back even more. Well, it's on position one out of half a dozen positions. Yeah, so that's on position one out of six positions. So it's on the absolute lowest heat. Runs fantastic. You can see it's got more pressure than the uh, the relief valves can handle so you know even on that low setting it, it, the pump is barely ticking over and this is a tiny little motor got to turn right back see how slow i can get it That's on the 0 0.05 position. I mean, uh, the pump only kicks in in position one. So that's as low as you can go with position one. You can see it blowing up a little bit here. I'll turn it up a bit more. That's position two. I mean, I haven't got any ceiling tape or anything. I just screw those connectors up, you know. Keep your finger tight, really. I think we'll turn it back. Oh, hell. <laughs> that overdid it. Shows you how much pressure this thing's got. It's got heaps. That doesn't matter. That was just a bit of old scrap fuel line. But the pressure was too much on number two out of six so you can see it's got huge amount of pressure and uh, yeah you can definitely use these to run engines no problem whatsoever all right let's see how much water 
the boiler caught from that running session. So you would have seen all the running sessions. So here we go. So it caught a lot of water. So it's obviously very moist steam coming through. So you want a water trap of some sort. And that's what you got. Quite a bit. So there's something you have to think about. And uh, yeah, remedy that. Now these, I looked up the steam chart on these little steam cleaners to see what sort of pressure they're capable of generating and the quoted temperature for this is I think uh, 125 C and the pressure in that range would be 40 to 50 PSI so I expect that yeah, the heater the steam cleaner probably puts out about 40 PSI maximum which is way more than you need for this little engine, you know, or any steam engine. Most steam engines should run on less than 10 PSI quite happily. So you should be well within the safety range of the steam cleaner. Just keep it turned back and, uh, yeah. Okay, so now you know what to buy my wife for Christmas. Uh, one of these, I mean... It shows you're thinking of her and she'll be over the moon. <laughs> All right, see you next time. Cheers.